Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It can be your adventures and we're here again on another episode of my vlog. But before we start off with my vlog for today and what we're supposed to do, I'm inviting everyone, for those of you who hasn't subscribed yet to my channel, It Can Be Your Adventures, please do click the subscribe button and help me in my quest to raise for 1,000 subscribers. So we're now on our 500 subscribers, so I thank you guys for for those who have already subscribed thank you so much for patronizing my channel and you know following me on my adventures here in london and abroad and anywhere in the world and also for those who hasn't subscribed yet please do and i'll see you in my channel <music> So this time, our vlog is a very special vlog because this time I'm gonna feature my mom's very special lumpia. So I'm gonna remake my mom's special lumpia and I'm gonna tell you all the ingredients that we need for this cuisine, for this Filipino cuisine, but also with a twist because I'm also gonna tell you stories and I'm gonna answer about my life living here in London. So um, I hope that this will help you. As well, recreate this Filipino cuisine on your own, based on my, you know, based on the things that I will do in this vlog, and also give you inspiration on how to live your life, living here in London or living abroad elsewhere. We're gonna answer your questions, and I'm gonna see you in this vlog. Come on. First, so we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you the ingredients that we need. Very simple, very straightforward ingredients. Very easy to find. Very easy to find in the market. So hindi kay mahirapan if you wanted to recreate this cuisine. So we're gonna start. First and foremost, ang pinaka start natin are tuna chunks. Actually, we need um, actually three cans of tuna chunks. So you can any tuna tuna in can you can use. Or if you have fresh fish, it's better as well. But if you have if you don't have tuna chunks, and then also we have mango sprouts. So mango sprouts very easy to find here in London. You can find it in uh, Asian grocers in an Asian grocery store. And also the next one we have. Ito, nilalagyan ko siya ng fish ball. This is just optional for you if you wanted if you wanted your uh, lumpia to taste a bit of like seafood, seafoody. So, we have fish balls. So, any brand will do. And also, we have sayote. This one, nakat ko na siya actually. This one. So, we mince it already. So, most of them can be minced. We, need, we also need onion. This. So, that one. And also, one clove of garlic as well. And the secret of the show this one sweet potato so ngayon na kinakarinig siguro ng lumpia na may sahog na sweet potato why this is my mom's secret because this one will make your lumpia taste sweet in a natural way you don't need to add sugars or anything just sweet lumpia and that's the secret of this lumpia so here you go we've got all the ingredients set and we're gonna cut everything so while we are cutting our uh, ingredients, our ingredients for the lumpia, we're gonna start answering questions that will be asked my cap by my cameraman. Shout out to Bob, he's holding the cam right now. And you know, we're gonna answer some questions about how it is to live here in London, you know, how is life living here in London. Alright. Why did you decide to live alone in the UK? Uh, it wasn't actually my decision to live alone in the UK. <laughs> Kasi nung punta kami dito sa UK, it's not our decision to, you know, to choose whatever accommodation we wanted. So we came here by a, as a group. So we were actually, you know, the accommodation is predetermined based on who you're gonna be uh, living with in the in the house or in the flat that you you will live. So nung pumunta ko dito, there's five of us. In, in, it's not a flat, it's a house that we have. Very big, big house, transferred two of us, we separated. So I was with another housemate, of uh, a housemate, Reggie. And then after two years of living in the flat, I transferred now and I'm living alone in a studio flat. Is it true that it is difficult to live with other people in a house here in the UK? Mm, maybe yes or maybe no. I would say, if I say like maybe yes, 
because you know you've got different personalities so actually mahirap din sometimes makiblend in sa mga tao na hindi mo pa actually nakikilala before and then you just knew them when you arrive here in the UK so that differences might be a hindrance as well if for you to communicate well for you to you know to do tasks in the in the house minsan may mga iringan mga ganun always mga confrontation mga ano small mga conference you know mga group talks and all to talk all of these problems and sometimes you know it 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 causes a discord in your friendship but also at the same time it's it's also you know the good side about you know living with with uh, other people in here in London is also good because whenever you've got like problems at least meron ka matatakbuhan you've got someone to like you know talk to whenever you've got problems you've got uh, people you can share small achievements with either with work or probably personal life or anything so there there's like two sides of the coin on this. Is it more expensive to live alone in the UK? The question is that depends on what the type of house or accommodation you wanted because there because with me I pay 775 pounds a month on this accommodation that I have. It's a studio flat. I've got like my own kitchen. I also like got my own toilet and I pay 775 all in including council tax, my water, my um heater, my heating. But that that really depends, you know. I would not say it's expensive or it's not ex or it's cheap to like live alone, but because if you live with other housemates, of course, you know, that depends on what accommodation you're living into. Kasi, at saka, depende din sa area of where you're living. Because if you live near to the sen to, to central London, it's very expensive. Even if you're living with someone in there, it's very expensive down in central London. So, ako naman, I live, um, let's say, almost an hour from central London. But it's still London, but in the outskirts. Is it easy to find a solo house in the UK? Mm, you say London... Yes, it's very challenging to find an accommodation in London kasi nga, of course, you have to consider the area that is in close proximity to your work and also an area where you wanted to find peace and quiet, yung area na very close to amenities like let's say uh, fruit stand or meat shop or mga grocery store. These are the essential things or essential considerations that you need to consider when choosing for a place in London and to tell you honestly, it's really difficult. It takes a lot of guts and as well as a lot of patience to like really find the perfect and the suitable accommodation for yourself. So, for all of those who wants an, to find accommodation in London, God bless to you guys. You'll soon find the perfect place for you. So guys, may nakalimutan pala akong ingredients. So, we need carrots for the lumpia. So, hindi makakompleto yung lumpia natin kung wala carrots. <laughs> so, ikakat ko muna siya. So now guys, we're done with cutting. Ta -da -da. Yeah, there you go. So we're now ready to cook our filling for the lumpia. So join me. Do you prefer to have a housemate or without housemate? <laughs> it's a very difficult question. <laughs> uh, actually, I miss having housemates, but right now I love being alone. <laughs> I've got some time alone. I've been here in London for all, for like five years, almost six years now. And for the last uh, for the last almost five years, I was living with other people. And this time, maybe it's you know a change of environment and mas you know mas na appreciate ko actually slowly appreciating the things that you know I have while living alone here in London. I appreciate more my time for myself. I can do so much with so much independence without thinking about anyone about my actions and you know what I wanted to do and what I wanted to happen at home with no uh, consultation from other people so I can express myself more fully so ang next natin gagawin is very easy kasi ihalo mo na lahat ng mga kinat mo yeah. so sweet potato Ano daw ang mas prefer mo? Housemate na maingay or housemate na makalat? <laughs> maingay na lang. <laughs> maingay na lang kasi I'm very OC. I'm very OCD with cleanliness. I'm very OCD with things at home. I want things in order, everything. Kasi pag 
Ako, I'm very particular with cleanliness. Pag masyadong madumi, I can't contain myself na to clean. And not to, to, to spend so much effort cleaning my floor, cleaning my walls, arranging my things, and also, I'd rather have a very chatty and, you know, very loud friend. Kasi at least, mag enjoy pa ako pag siya kasama ko. Very friendly. I can do couch surfing with him. Any tips you can um, suggest or advise to those who are novice or bago dito sa UK and looking for a flat and living alone here in London or in the UK? Um, like live here permanently here in the in the UK or where else here in the UK in London ba or outside London is to actually um, consider your budget, consider um, your personality as well if you are adapt to um, blending with people of different personalities because it's really a factor. Because though we, we, we are happy that we've got someone living in the house or in the flat, we, we, we are living with someone else's in the flat, but it's also very difficult because you have to as well consider other people and sometimes you have to compromise, you know, not even doing the things that you love because you also have to think about others. And also, um, in living alone as well, it's, you know, there's a pros and a cons. In living with houses, there's pros and a cons. But for me, as of the moment, um, I'm, I'm much better off um, living alone. So, um, whatever the, your decision is, it really depends on you. And God bless and good luck to your search. Siguro mga, ano, one and a half teaspoons. Kasi malalaki yung proper natin. That's it. So, we got our filling. Balot natin siya. And, there you go, our wrap lumpia. And then next nito is iku cook natin siya in oil, right? So guys, here you go, our finished product, the Filipino Lumpia. So let's try one. Hmm, I'm eating it from the left. So brown salad. Oh my god. Perfect. Ang secret talaga dito is the kamote or the sweet potato. So guys, that concludes our a vlog for today. So I hope you enjoyed our small talk and also this one uh, you get some inspiration as well to recreate this dish on your own homes. And once again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It can be your adventure. So to get on hold of my adventures here in London and anywhere else in the world. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next cooking adventure. Sorry. <laughs>